everybody at all, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing okay. Today's video is going to be an in-depth tutorial of how I put together this makeup look that I wore for my graduation two years ago. So if you'd like to see the, the makeup that I use and how I put together this look, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to be dipping into is this is my Ted Baker eyeshadow primer. So we are going to be using this on our eyelids to prepare for eyeshadow. What I do is I just use my finger to just rub that in. You can also set it with a little bit of powder too, so that it appears less tacky. Okay, moving on to the eyes now. How I did my eye makeup on graduation, I dipped into this as I was doing as my graduation was held in the winter time. I'm going to be dipping into this. This is the Mac Amber Times Nine palette. I absolutely love this palette. I mentioned this way back in my. In my January favourites, you know, when I had all the, I had everything from makeup to books to films that I've been watching. So I'm going to be dipping into this colour right here. This is called Georgia Peach. It is a, it's a mauve peach colour. I'm just going to be working this through my crease to act as my base layer before we put the, the darker shade on the outer corner of the eye. I'm not going to go as crazy on my eye makeup as I plan to because at this time of year I'm most likely going to sweat it off. When I did my graduation, when I had my photographs taken in January, it was I didn't really have to worry about that because it was quite cold and I knew my makeup wasn't going to flake off like it would when you normally have a graduation. The reason I'm explaining this is because I was part of the class of 2020 and then of course it was you all know what happened in 2020 so I didn't really get much of it. I didn't really get the I got something I didn't really the only thing I didn't do was the walk across the stage to get my degree so we're going to be doing the the makeup look that I did or oh, this was this was the makeup that I wore for my photograph so because the makeup that I wore for the actual celebration event was more suited to winter time. So, and I just thought, I didn't use all my colours in, it'll be July by the time you guys are watching this. So, I just thought it didn't seem right. So, I just wanted to just keep the eye makeup to a minimum. Anyway, going back to the makeup look, the, oh, I forgot to mention what shade I was going in with. The shade that I'm using on this Morphe M506 brush on the outer corner of my eye is this shade here, it's called Cork. It is a matte, it looks like a, I'd say it's like a mustard colour, so like a deeper mustard colour. So I'm just doing this on the outer part of the eye because we are going to go for a smoky eye today, which is normally not what I would go for, but since I am doing a graduation look, I just thought I would go a little bit extra. I'm then, I'm then going to take this brush again without dipping into any more product. I'm just going to blend that out. To appear more softer because often you would have a graduation in the daytime. Whereas, the, I mean, mine was on a, it was on a very rainy morning in December and I just thought because you normally have it in July and it will be July by the time you guys are watching it so I just thought I would do a little bit less than what I normally do. I'm still going along the lines of what I actually wore but not as extra as, as it was because you want your photos to look timeless so what I would say is if you are planning makeup for your graduation I would say keep it minimal because you are going to be looking at this picture for the rest of your life and it'll often be in hanging in your parents house or hanging in your house or whoever it is that you're living with. Okay going on to the lid shade I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Creative Copper it's this middle shade here on a Morphe 124 brush I'm just going to be packing this all over the eyelid. I'm not planning to go for a cut crease today so I'm just going to just do a more just a normal eyelid no intense cut crease no taking out of the tail of my brow because there is a time and place that you can do this 
and graduation is not one of them. I'm also going to take a little bit underneath my eye but we're going to come back to that after we do our face same with mascara we're going to come back to that after we do the rest of our face so we'll do that now. Okay the first thing I'm going to be reaching for is this it's my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm going to be using this to set the foundation that I already have on so I'm going to also reach for my bronzer brushes. Well, I'm going to take this brush here it is the powder brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be I should just use a smaller one it's just the areas that I put concealer and hopefully it will set your makeup in place for if it isn't going to be all it'll be most of the day because it might, you might not get an opportunity to retouch your makeup again once you're at your venue and then going in with a little bit of bronze I'm going to go in with a little bit less than what I've been doing recently for my Ariana Grande series I'm just doing the Rimmel Radiance break I'm not going to I'm just going to just gently put a little bit on and I'm just going to just work this into my face I'm not going as much bronze that is what I have been doing recently I'm just going to just do a light pop of colour because it is a graduation makeup look after all and you don't want to look like you've been you don't want to be looking back at it in five years time and then think what the heck what the heck was I thinking why on earth did I go in with so much bronzer and then I'm going to be going in with this this is the Benefit Georgia Peach Brush I absolutely love this blush so much I've used this so much in a lot of my tutorials this year so and I'm just going to be working this up my cheekbone towards my hairline Okay, going back into our eye makeup, I'm just going to take that lid shade, that colour that we used on our lid. So I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm just going to be tracing this underneath, oh, sun right in my face, underneath my lower lash line. I also want to mention a huge congratulations to the class of 2022. I know. A lot of your a lot of your studies have been done in such extraordinary times but we managed to pull through it. We got through this together, should be very proud and then just cherish this moment forever. Okay, moving on to mascara. I'm not gonna do any liner because when I had my photos done I didn't do any eyeliner or any liquid liner cat eye. I just went straight in with mascara and I'm just gonna be using this. You guys know I absolutely love this. This is my absolute holy grail. It is the Rimmel waterproof volume on demand mascara this will be perfect especially for an event like graduation because it can be an emotional event as well because you know you, you may you're saying you're pretty much saying goodbye to a lot of fellow fellow students and, and then you're also teaching stuff that also helps you to get to this point i know my graduation i know bearing in mind a lot of the a lot of the key parts were taken away but I would have loved to have been able to I'm not being I'm not trying to sound spoiled but it was just it would have been an amazing opportunity to thank an amazing group of people that managed to help me through my degree and help me get to this point and the last thing that I am going to be doing is lips so the what I want I, I did do a lip liner for this because you would normally if you are getting photographs done you would want to make sure that your makeup is going to stay pretty much most of the day so I have a bunch of lip liners here so one of these will have to match so I might go in with hmm which one should I go with see a lot of these are more pinky nose so I'm gonna go and then the makeup the lipstick that I'm gonna be using is more of a brown shade so I'm gonna be using this this is the Kiko Smart Fusion lip pencil in the shade number 533 I'm just gonna do a over draw and I'm not gonna feather it in like I normally would because I am gonna be putting this lipstick on top And the actual lipstick that I will be using is this. This is the Rimmel 
Last and finished lipstick in number 77 Asia. It is very similar to Twig by MAC. I also mentioned this in my MAC dupes video. And there you have it guys. That is my graduation makeup all done. All right, now that my makeup is all done, let's talk a little bit about my experience. Our story begins in March 2020 when the world was in a very dark place. At this point, I was nearing the end of my final year. We weren't able to mark graduation like we normally would have done. It wasn't cancelled, it was only pushed back a year. It was not like it didn't happen at all. Originally, it was supposed to take place July 2020, but then we were still in a bit of a dark place at that time and we weren't able to hold it like we would normally so instead it was held in originally it was planned for the we're gonna do it for the November or December but then as it was too close to Christmas a lot of people weren't able to make that day Ben and mine we did we we're given this we had to vote of when we think the graduation should be held so the choices were November or December of 2020 or the following summer. Most of us voted for the November, December one, however, and then as things escalated, like it's got more dark and that was just not possible at that time. So what happened was they moved it back a year and we held it in, it was December 2021. It was two days before my birthday and it was held at a different venue to what it would normally be. I was looking forward to the holding it in the original venue because it was a lot more convenient and easier to get to. Instead it was more of a out the way, it's a new venue, it was called Eagles Arena. It was the, it's this basketball court in, in the town that I live in. Up until we were in, up until then we weren't sure when we were going to, how or when we were going to hold the graduation so I marked it in my own unique way and I did this, I made a graduation cap. Now in America this is huge but since we were in quite a dark place and this was made entirely in lockdown so the cap that I got this was from Amazon you can get in an array of different colours. I got black because the graduation caps in this country are black so you can get them in array of colours. I got this one you can get there's like red there was like white there was mostly like the ones that you tend to see in you know, like in schools in America or whatever like colours their school is. And then with this cap you get a you get the longer tassel and you also get this. It's a year trial this says 2020. I did also very kindly get sent a one for 2021 because I weren't sure if or if we were even gonna get a graduation and then if we did get one and in a, and it was just pushed back a year I could have just easily changed the charm but I wanted to keep it as 2020 because that was the year I graduated so what I done was I got this and I also got the the silver 2020 which I also got from Amazon you can also get it from a local card shop with places like Clinton to get card factory or if there's any local card shops where you live so you can get them from most places you can get them from like creative stores you can get it from places like the works you can get it from or if you're in America you can get it from Hobby Lobby or whatever you call it and then with it I decorated these these all resemble cherry blossoms because they were huge in the year that I graduated which fun fact the cherry blossom or Sakura as it's called originated in the country that hosted the 2020 Olympic Games so there's your clue there it is also a nod to one of my favourite bands that I was into at the time I was making this. It was a nod to the Vamps' fifth album, Cherry Blossom. I literally lived through this when at the time I made this cap. So the flowers that I got were from Create and Craft. I did this with how I put these together was first off I drew some designs and then I had a little play around with them with the flowers on the mortar board. Originally I was going to do a half cardboard base and then stick the flowers on but I thought I would do a more I just thought I would like make good use of the space on the cap so I just put it on the corner so what I done was I had to play around with them the flowers that I got these were from Create and Craft which is a shopping TV channel that you can get in the UK so that you can access in the UK so I got these it was 
there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got a total of 40 of these flowers. I also ordered some extra because if you are looking to maybe use some flowers on here, I would suggest you get some a little a couple more extra bags in just in case that they are bent or broken or they might not be as good. So I had a play around with these and then I used a hot glue gun to stick these onto the mortar board. So what I done was I decided to I was gonna do cover half the half of the cap but I decided to do the corners because one it just it doesn't clutter it too much and two it keeps it nice and simple and it's not going to be when you have this on your head it's not going to be like it's not going to be a total distraction you know especially if you want to make the cap the main focus but what I would say is if you are thinking I was going to do a tutorial but I didn't want to because I had a feeling it would be very fiddly but there'll be there are plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to decorate a cap so if you are thinking about making one of these yourself I will link these in the description box below. Some of these were my favourite so I used that as a starting point and then I just thought I would go with my own original idea because some of the ones that I watched on the internet were more like larger flowers and I just wanted to keep these relatively low key so I thoroughly enjoyed making this because it's not something I normally do but we were in a bit of a, I mean, try graduating in the middle of a global pandemic. So this cap was made entirely in lockdown. And it's normally, you get this in America. But it did start off in America and then eventually it did make its way across to the UK. And as soon as I saw these on social media, that was when I really, this is when I wanted to really get involved. And one, it was because it was better than nothing. At least I still had something should graduation not have taken place at all and at least I've got still got a piece of the experience so even if it was just a more stripped back one at least I still had something so I'm really happy that I got the well the opportunity to make this because I wanted to make sure I still had a piece of graduation even if it was marked in the more more stripped back way in the world so you can get the you can get these in a array of different colours. So I mean I had to get two of these packs because with me being 2020. And then of course if you if you anything after 2020, you will need two packs. This year you'll need three because you'll need the for 2022, you'll need like the extra two on the end. So you can get these in a lot of different colours. They had silver, they had gold, or they had pink. But I, I didn't I was originally gonna get pink, but I thought it might have been a little bit too much, especially with the blossom and I didn't really want to have any two-tone pinks and I just didn't want to look back at this and then it just looks a little bit tacky shall I say so the silver lace makes it look a lot more elegant it's just like adds a bit of contrast especially on a black cap so how I done this was I just peeled these off and then I just stuck these directly on the cap 